Hello everyone, this is Jozef Neut here and in this video I'm bringing you back the old CFD summer series and a uh, long time no see but nothing really changed mostly my hair from the top of my hair had moved down to the bottom and the front of my face but everything is as usual so now why I am bringing best back the CFD summer series is because on my uh, community tab I posted uh, a poll on this and you uh, seem to like it I can't really uh, seem to find it but you seem to like it so I am bringing it back and the two topics that were most interesting to you is were these two topics so open from uh, to talk about first meshing with snappy hex mesh or cf mesh and another uh, topic would be open from case setup these were the two most uh, requested uh, topics so in this video I'm shortly talking about meshing in open form and whatever uh, comes out from a short brainstorming here okay so regarding meshing the first step is geometry creation and for that I can draw your attention to this video with uh, geometry creation uh, for open form so go into that video to know a little bit more about that so in addition for cf mesh i think i summarized everything in my specific video yes here meshing with cf mesh so the thing is that uh, open foam has had the the one cf mesh uh, installation now for years i think already four or five years so nothing has changed since I posted this four year old video so I would really just relate you to that it's first a good thing that nothing changed because uh, this video is really uh, applicable now uh, has been applicable for years and I do think that it will be applicable for the foreseeable future now regarding snappy hex mesh I know that I have not posted a specific tutorial with snappy hex mesh but what I did do and then I will go a little bit into the terminal also I have do have this multi-phase simulation project here and there I have I believe the second video where I do have a 24 minute video specific to snappy hex mesh now since since six years ago not a lot has changed in snappy hex mesh so most of the things are still uh, true that i talk about in this video but let's see how if you are not interested in this video and in the resources how would i <coughs> start a snappy hex mesh uh, meshing uh, procedure in 2024 but this has been the way I did it I have been doing it now for years and again also for the foreseeable future I don't really see uh, a difference here so if you don't want to use my resources or any online resources what I like to do this is a general thing so if I just create in my home a folder snappy and I go into snappy not snap but snap actually snappy then what I really like to use as a template for meshing with snappy hex mesh is the flange tutorial so go to the installation location of your open form so this can be in slash opt slash u usr, USR or in your home my, I like to put my open foam installations into my home so I will just load my 2312 uh, version and go into tutorials and then the meshing tutorials yes there are also meshing tutorials snappy hex mesh and there are a couple of tutorials and I like to use the flange tutorial this is just by sheer luck 10 years ago I found this and 
I use this. So what I like to do here, I like to go here and take a look at what is happening here and nothing really fancy is happening here. So it runs block mesh, surface feature extract and snappy hex mesh. And these are really the three most important uh, commands to run snappy hex mesh. So this is what is being done. First, it is copying the STL file, the flange STL file from some resource folder, but it doesn't matter for you because you don't want to run the flange tutorial here. You want to run your own case. So what you have to change here is um, open up um, block mesh snappy hex mesh and surface feature extract dict. Now you don't have this uh, open command. I created an alias in Linux. So with the open command, my notepad plus plus opens and I get the, um, the, the dictionaries, but actually what I can do, I can just open them on in nano. That doesn't confuse you. Okay, so I will open, uh, just open up the three um, uh, dictionaries, block mesh dictionary, snappy hex mesh dictionary, and surface feature extract. And now the steps that you have to do. Okay, so let's start with a surface feature extract first. So your geometries that you exported from whatever CAD tool you have, maybe you did it according to my ge geometry tutorial uh, and you have a set of STL files. All you have to do is have modify this, you can delete these, com uh, these comments here and you end up with your, I don't know, uh, uh, with an, for a, an entry for an inlet and you maybe have a second inlet, an outlet and a wall. And then all you have to do is here, all you have to do is then set up this set of STLs for the number of STLs that you have and then just save it. That's it. And then the same for block, my block mesh dictionary. And I ha do have a YouTube short for that, how to set up uh, YouTube shorts here. So uh, snappy hacks mesh hacks. Yes. So this is how to set up quickly the vertices of the bounding box in block mesh dictionary for your specific STL. So watch this uh, quick hack tutorial to do this, to, to set up block mesh dictionary. This is very, very handy. And you don't, uh, what is important is that uh, it is ju just a little bit larger than your act, than all your uh, STLs combined. And then what you have to do is decide how many cells you want to put in the X in the Y and the Z direction. This is all set up in a way that your boundaries in block mesh are combined into all boundary and later snappy hex mesh will cut them away from the outside. So this is very, very ha handy. And then the last thing you have to set up is snappy hex mesh dictionary. And yes, it is a very long uh, dictionary, but don't be afraid. It's just a couple of steps that you have to look out for. And I'm going to just give you these steps and that really, that, that's really uh, how, how to handle this. So first you have to define what stages in snappy hex mesh you want to run. So there is castellanated mesh, snappy, uh, the snapping stage and the add layers. So in the castellanated, stash, uh, uh, castellanated mesh stage, you uh, refine your mesh close to your STL surfaces in the snapping stage, you move uh, your uh, nodes closer to the STL files and then in the add layer um, stage, you add layers. Now, if you don't know what I'm talking about, just Google comprehensive tour of snappy hex mesh and you will be brought to this extremely old PDF from 2012, but it is gold because it it's, uh, even helps you in 2024 understanding the basics of Snappy Hex Mesh. So if you're interested in the details, just go through this PDF 
And then in the second step, all you have to do here is add your STL files here. So instead of flange, so we used as an example, inlet, name it inlet, and then make a copy of it. We had an outlet and wall, so let's just call this wall. Or did I call it walls? I'm not sure. Uh, I'm too lazy to go back and check outlet. So basically the same name that we used in surface feature extract. And actually the, the name that you used for your STL. So inlet one, inlet two, outlet and wall. And yes, you can use simple uh, geometric features, but for, uh, for a start, you don't really need that. And then I would use here a mean refinement level of 20, just check the PDF for more information and cells between levels. I would for a first try, uh, try th the three. And then uh, what I would do is I would use here inlet onemesh So I would just make a copy of this. Oh no, so it wasn't inlet one, but I said inlet. This was inlet two, this was outlet and then wall. And this will uh, define a refinement level. So for example, one on, uh, on the edges of the inlets, the outlets, as well as the walls. And then you do the same for the refinements so of all the surfaces. And why you have here two values, check in the PDF. So this is a minimum and a maximum value. And wall. And now with this refinement surfaces, you define the refinement level close to your individual STLs. And then the last step you must not for, okay, so we, we don't need, we, we skip this here. And the, the last thing is the, your location in mesh point. So this defines you the inside point of your geometry. So if you're dealing with an internal flow, you just select a point inside of your geometry. And here in this uh, quick hack tutorial, I also show you how to do that with the help of Paraview. Can I just skip ahead? No, okay, so at the end, of this video, I show you how to do uh, select uh, in Paraview your location in Mesh. So this helps you set up this entry and this is really it. I would not change any of the snap controls and all then you what you if you are really want to add uh, layers and if you want to use the layers and enable uh, the top the uh, layer addition stage, then here you can use so for example around your walls you want to have one surface layers or two and then yes so you can maybe change the expansion ratio but for more detailed uh, information i would uh, advise you to go through this pdf so really this was it so nothing fancy don't forget to save this uh yes so maybe if you want to add layers don't forget to change this add layer boolean to true first, then copy your STLs to constant. Okay, so you have to create constant and then try surface. And this is hard coded for snappy hex mesh and your STL files have to be here. And if I check your uh, or run script, uh, this also creates for you before copying the STL files to that folder. So you really need this folder. And then once you copied your STLs, your geometry, then you can run block mesh, surface feature extraction, and snappy hex mesh overwrite, and you're all set. And then you can iterate your mesh. For iteration, uh, I would advise you to uh, always delete your 
polymesh folder before you restart your meshing uh, just for a clean uh, start and that's really it and then you can just play around with the settings the, the refinement levels the the number of cells in your block mesh dictionary and your refinement levels and once you are satisfied then you can go over to your case setup so that was really it my quick tips for the summer so if you're lying next uh, at, at the beach and watching this uh, uh, youtube video then you know what to check out once you're back in office so with that i would like to thank you for watching and listening and i hope to see you next time